All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today we are going to be checking out the full details and animations for the new Dokkan Fest kit Goku, as well as his uh, banner unit, which is going to be this AGL Aider slash Hachan. Okay, so without further ado, let's uh, jump right into it, starting with the animations first, and then we'll break down their full kits. And I haven't seen these animations yet, but... Uh, I've definitely got some high hopes, so here we go. Let me just pause the music and uh, yeah, enjoy, guys. Okay, wow. Um, oh, this kid Goku looks freaking sick, guys. I mean, <laughs> I think he might have some of my favorite animations in the entire game. I mean, just the nostalgia factor alone, right? I mean, seeing all the characters from Dragon Ball, I know I'm saying I mean a lot, but I'm trying to collect my thoughts, right? So, um, yeah. Yeah, I love these animations. I love... Just like seeing all these characters from Dragon Ball, it just brings back so many memories from my childhood, honestly. And uh, yeah, I love his animations. They they absolutely killed it. Um, and it looks like he has two unit super attacks. And uh, also, of course, at the end we saw the uh, revival, no, sorry, no, sorry, not the revival skill, the active skill, the active skill. And that was freaking dope <laughs> that active skill is freaking dope guys so um yeah amazing animations amazing animations that as i said i wasn't really sure what to expect it could have gotten a lot of ways but um it definitely met any expectations i did have uh i was right to be hopeful because they delivered, man. They they definitely delivered with this kid Goku. So I'ma let this active skill play out one more time and then we'll jump over to the details. But dude. He looks incredible. He looks incredible. Okay, so there it is. Uh, animations for the kid Goku slash Aider, who looks, you know, fine as well. Nothing too special, but not bad. And uh, let's jump over to the details for the Kid Goku first. I'm going to just make my face disappear so I don't block any of the text. Of course, this is courtesy of the homie Goresh on Twitter. So massive shout out and thank you to Goresh for the uh, you know early translations, right? So um, we got the Fizz Kid Goku, or rather Goku Youth, Adventure for the Dragon Balls. Leader skill is Dragon Ball Saga Youth or exploding 
Rage, Category Ski plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 170%, plus an additional HP, Attack, and Defense plus 30% for characters who also belong to the Dragon Ball Seekers or Bond of Friendship category. Okay, so we're getting multiple categories as well as uh, multiple additional categories to satisfy the 200% leader skill condition, which is pretty awesome. So, uh, yeah, three leader skills essentially plus two other leader skills, or rather two other conditions that, that allow you to get the full 200% boost. We got Dragon Ball Saga, Youth, and Exploding Rage. That's pretty nice. And then the uh, regular super attack is Goku's Assault, greatly raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage. And then the first unit super attack, which is the one we saw with like the full squad, is uh, gathering up the Dragon Ball team, massively raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage and lowers attack. And this can be activated or launched when a character, uh, sorry, when there is a character attacking in the same turn whose name includes Yamcha, Master Roshi, Oolong, Bulma Youth, or Bulma Bunny. So I think the most likely uh, character you'll be launching this super attack with is either a Roshi or Yamcha because there's not really um, any usable Oolongs in this game right now and uh, there's a couple of youth Bulmas actually so that could be an option as well but most likely Yamcha or Roshi and uh, by the way yo in the animations here we did see I'm pretty sure a brand new Yamcha yeah this STR Yamcha right here I think is new so he, he they're gonna be like a I mean, he's probably going to be like a new free-to-play unit, I'm guessing, from this celebration, right? So, that's kind of cool. You know, probably with an Extreme Z Awakening. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, that is the first super attack with the full Dragon Ball team, I guess. And then for the uh, second super attack, that's with Aider. And uh, it's friendship attack, massively raises attack for one turn, causes immense damage, and lowers attack. And uh, it can be launched when there's character when a character is attacking the same turn, whose name includes Hachan, Enraged excluded okay so those are the three different super attacks two unit super attacks the passive is the greatest adventure of all attack and defense plus 159 percent at the start of turn and then attack and defense plus 59 percent when launching a super attack super uh my bad dragon ball saga and youth category allies he plus two and attack and defense plus 50 percent and randomly changes a type of key sphere to rainbow key spheres Attack and defense plus 20% per key sphere obtained and chance to perform a critical hit and reduces damage received by 7% per rainbow key sphere obtained. Gains an additional defense plus 59% when collecting 3 or more key spheres, performs an additional attack that has a high chance to become a super attack when collecting 5 or more key spheres. And then all allies chance to perform a critical hit and reduces damage received by 8% when collecting 7 or more key spheres. And then the active skill is Rage Filled Kamehameha, can be used once 8 or more attacks have been received in battle by this character or when HP is 59% or below once only, and it temporarily increases attack by 800% for this attack and gains an additional 59% chance to perform a critical hit during the turn of activation. And uh, lastly, Links, the Innocence on the Family, in Fighter, Kamehameha, Incurable Adventure, Guidance of the Dragon Balls, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Dragon Ball Saga, Youth, Exploding Rage, Dragon Ball Seekers, Bond of Friendship, Low Class Warrior, Pure Saiyans, Movie Heroes, Goku's Family, Kamehameha, and Bond of Parent and Child. Okay, so this is a very, very, very good unit, guys. Um, just first impressions, obviously, with no kind of uh, context uh, as to their in-game performance. <clears throat> I gotta say, they are, or he is, I guess, one of the top TURs in the game right now. No question, like top three, maybe. Um, he's gonna hit incredibly, incredibly hard. Um, his defense, I mean, the only issue that I can see is that like he doesn't raise defense on a super attack, but he gets so much defense on his passive and he's getting the damage reduction um, with Rainbow Key Spheres, as well as you know more damage reduction as a support as well with seven or more Key Spheres. Um, he should be 
quite tanky enough. I've seen some people complain about his defense or at least express concerns about his defense. And I don't think it's going to be that much of an issue. Because look, he's getting 159% here. He's getting 59 more percent when launching a super attack. He's getting 59 more percent when collecting three or more key spheres. He's also getting 7% damage reduction per rainbow key sphere. And then 8% more with seven or more key spheres obtained. And he is an orb changer, so he can get a lot of key spheres on average, right? So, um, yeah, this guy does a little bit of everything. He, he, he does a little bit of everything. He is an orb changer. He is a nuker. He's an amazing support. I mean, key plus two, attack and defense, plus 50% for Dragon Ball Saga and youth. And, uh, oh, I forgot, yeah, the, the support passive here, he also gets that, right? So that's 50% more defense. So, yeah, I think defensively, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. This is easily one of the best TURs in the game. And then this active skill super attack. I mean, 800% attack boost, 59% chance to crit. This one is going to hit really hard. This this active skill should hit very, very hard. So, um, I got nothing bad to say, guys. I got nothing bad to say. This is an incredible, incredibly powerful unit. Um, yeah. Yeah, they they went all out with this kid, Goku. So, there it, uh, there it is, guys. The new Dokkan Fest is kid Goku. Let's quickly pop over to... Achan's details, so we don't forget about him. Uh, leader skill is Dragon Ball Saga, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%. Super attack, name received from Goku, attack and defense plus 80%, reduces damage received by 20%. At the start of turn, gains an additional attack and defense plus 80% and reduces damage received by 30%. Uh, if there's an ally whose name includes Goku Youth attacking in the same turn. And then key plus eight and gains an additional attack and defense plus 50%, or sorry, 80% for five turns after receiving an attack. Reduces damage received by 30% and recovers 80% HP. Once only if HP is 20% or below, once five turns or more have elapsed from the start of battle. And, uh, oh, hold on, I got confused. So he labeled <laughs> the passive as a super attack and then super attack as a passive. A okay, super attack greatly raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage. And links are gentlemen, android assault, in fighter, tough as nails, uh, guidance of the dragon balls, incredible adventure, and fierce battle. And categories are dragon ball saga, android, movie heroes, artificial life forms, and finally bond of friendship. So uh, that is the Hachan, and uh, he he is very 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 good, very very good. I mean, look at all the damage reduction: twenty percent here, thirty percent there. Um, 30% damage reduction and 80% healing. So is this like 30% for just, just that one turn? Probably for just that one turn, right? But he's, you know, getting basically 50% damage reduction if you have uh, Kid Goku in the same turn. And then he's also getting, uh, let's see, 80% 80, 80 attack and defense here, 80% attack and defense here, 80% attack and defense here after taking a hit. So... Yeah, he should do some decent damage, but mostly defensively, he's going to be, you know, a beast. You know, he's going to be a very, very good tank. So that's kind of his role. And also, of course, to activate the Dokkan Fett's Kid Goku's um, second unit super attack, which is, I mean, animation-wise, not as good, in my opinion. But as far as effect goes, it is the same as the other unit super attack. I just like the animation with, like... You know, the full squad with like Oolong, Roshi, you know, Bulma, and so on and so forth. Uh, Yamcha, a little bit better, but um, yeah, yeah, these guys will work really well together. And this guy, I mean, if you are concerned about the Kid Goku's defense at all, then just, you know, make this guy your uh, slot one unit because he is a very good slot one unit. He's a very, very good slot one unit. Um, so, you shouldn't be too concerned about putting him in that first slot and then putting the kid Goku in the second slot, but I think this kid Goku can actually um, do well in slot one because of the, the nuking passive. So um, anyways, that's all I gotta say guys. That is, or those are the details for the uh, new kid Goku. And uh, let me just play this animation here. 
and uh, Hachan. And let me just come back into the screen before we go. Um, I'm very high on both these units, especially, of course, the Kid Goku, but the Aider looks incredible as well. And uh, this is actually a really exciting release. It's a really exciting release. I mean, I wasn't really thinking Kid Goku. I wasn't really thinking Baby Saga when uh, we were speculating about like the next Dokkan Fest, but this is awesome. You know, I am perfectly, perfectly happy with what we got. So uh, let me know in the comments how you guys feel about these units, what you guys think about the kits, the animations, all that good stuff. And uh, be ready for their release in a couple of days on JP. Of course, eventually on Global as well, but Global right now is getting the pan, which um, is good. The pan is good, but in comparison to this unit, uh, you know, it's not nearly as exciting in my opinion. But it is what it is. That's just how things go. And uh, that's it, guys. That's going to be the video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.